Hi everybody, this is Booklooms, and today I'm going to show you how to make Hazel Grace Lancaster from the Fault in Our Stars on your rainbow loom. The supplies you will need for today's video are your loom, your hook, preferably two hooks actually because we're going to be making this in two separate parts, so then you will be able to hold the body on the hook while we make the head. So the colors you will need are green, red, blue, skin tone, and brown. But if you don't have a green, or if you don't, like, I think that one of the coolest things about Hazel is that you could probably make her in any colors you want. Because although I have not seen the movie yet, I bet she's going to have a couple different outfits. So you can choose from that if you want. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make Hazel's eyes. So what you are going to do is you are going to take a piece of floss and you're going to take two beads. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. So you're going to take one bead and string it through your floss. Take another bead and string it through your floss. So now you have your two beads on your floss. Now you're going to take one skin tone band. So you have your one skin tone band and you are going to string the skin tone band with the, you're going to string the floss through the skin tone band. So you're going to take this and go through here. I'm really sorry if you weren't able to see that. If you weren't able to see that, I show you how to do this on my Tris prior video and my Katniss video. And also, you can check out more Loom's Creations videos because she shows you a lot clearer than I do, and I'm very sorry if you could not see that. So, also, if you don't have beads to do this, you can do this using bands, and more Loom's also can show you how to do this on many of her videos. So, we are going to start placing our bands on the Loom. And the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to make Hazel's arms. So, we are going to be using double bands, unless I say otherwise, but I'm pretty sure for the majority of this project, it's double bands. So let me just get some bands out, and for the arm, we're going to be using our skin tone bands and our dark green bands, or whatever color you would like to make Hazel's shirt. So we are going to take two bands, and we are going to go down four times with our green bands, three, four, and then once with our skin tone bands, and we're going to take one skin tone band, and we're going to twist it around four times, four, and then we can do the same on the other side, so we're going to take two bands like this, I'll lift it up so you can see better. And please tell me if you like the white paper in the background. I just thought that you might be able to see the loom better. So, if you do, then I will continue to put a piece of paper in the videos. And now we're going to take it, wrap it around four times. One, two, three, four. And now we are going to loop forwards. So we're going to take our hook, we're going to go in and grab the bottom two bands and pull forwards. And I'll set the loom down so hopefully you can see it. So we're just always, always, always looking for that nice teardrop shape. And now we have our one arm. And now we are going to go in the other way for the next arm. Reach in underneath that capping band. Pull forwards. And loop forwards. 
So now this is where our other hook will come in handy or like a pencil or a pen, anything that will hold your body parts or Hazel's body parts. <laughs> so we're going to take that off the loom. And now we can start laying out the bands for Hazel's body. So we are going to be taking two skin tone bands and placing them from there to there, two skin tone bands from here to here, and two skin tone bands from here to here. Okay, so I have to look at this hazel for reference. So we are going to go down, let me see, one, two, three, four, five times on our left and right side with our green bands or whichever color you want her shirt three four five and now we'll move to the middle and we are going to go down three times with red bands just to give it a little bit of variation I, I store my bands in plastic baggies so because I like that so now we're going to go down two more times Oops. and now five more times again also by the time that some of you are watching this video, the movie will have already come out. So, leave your thoughts about the movie below. I'm actually going to see it on Saturday, June 7th, and I am very excited. So this is what this should look like so far. And now, for one, two, three, four, five ways down, we are going to, I'm going to be using the jelly blue just to see how it would turn out. In my original hazel, I used a darker blue, so feel free to use any blue you would like for her pants. Or any color, actually. So, what I like to do when I do the pants is I like to just put them here because it's easier to cap. And now I said five times, I believe, to three, four, five on this side. And now we're gonna, I'm really sorry if you couldn't see that. So now we're gonna go down one, well two, three, four, five. And please remember that we are always, always, always using our double bands. And now we're going to take two more skin tone bands and we are going to place them there for her feet. Now on my original Hazel, I gave her black shoes, but I don't have black with me right now. So I'm just going to improvise and I'm going to give her brown shoes. So what we are going to do is we are going to make two brown or black or whichever color you want your shoes to be capping bands. So we're gonna take our brown band or whatever color and wrap it around three, four, five times. And then wrap this around five times as well. And now we can put the arms on. So you can just take your hook and you can take your fingers and place them on there. And then once again, you can take them and place them on there. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we are going to place our capping bands. So we're going to take one green band, twist it, oops, one green band, twist it, 
and pull it over. And this makes your figurine thinner. One green band, twist it, and pull it over. And then one green band, twist it, pull it over. And we are just making her shirt tighter than the pants. Twist it, pull it over. And now we can take double, so two ocean bands, and place them here. So now we can start to loop. Okay, so now we can start to loop Hazel. So what we are going to do is we are going to reach in underneath this brown capping band and pull the bottom two skin bands forward. Then we're going to continue doing this, reaching in underneath the bottom band and we are going to pull this forward. So I'm going to put this on the floor now so you can see. So now once we get here, we're just going to reach in underneath the capping band and pull forward. And I'm just going to continue up the left side of the loom. And since I only grabbed one band here, I'll push this back with my finger and grab the other one. And now I'll reach up and go here. So now if we're in the middle, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to grab the bottom bands. This might be a little bit difficult since we're using the jelly bands. So, grab in. You know what, actually, I'm going to save that for later. So we're going to go up the right side of the loom. So we are just repeating exactly what we did on the left side. And once again, I only grabbed one band. So I'm going to reach back in here and grab the other one. And now I'm going to work on the middle column again. So I am going to lift this one up. And I'm going to try to grab these two bands. And I pulled over it. So it looks like this. I think that if you did it the other way, it will not look that much different, but it might look a little bit different. And if you didn't understand that part, I actually messed up on the same thing in my Trist video. So you can always go back and watch that. <laughs> See if I can fix this, guys. I got it. So I caught this band, and we are all good. So okay. So now we are almost done with her body. I was about to say Triss's body because I was thinking of my Triss tutorial, but Hazel. <laughs> 
but it's kind of funny because they're played by the same actress. And sometimes I have little problems. So we're going to reach in underneath this. Pull up. And now we are going to get her neck. So we are going to reach in. I have one neck band. And if you want. Oh no. I'm very sorry. You can't see that. For future reference, if you would like, you can always add three bands to the neck if you're making another figurine. And what I'm trying to do right now, I know you can't see it, I'm just trying to get the bottom neck band. For future reference, you can always add three bands to the neck to make it thicker. So I think I got it. Yep, I got it. So now... We are going to take Hazel's body off the loom. And it seems to me that the jelly bands held up pretty well. And I usually like the jelly bands just because they give it, like, I don't know. I think it looks a little bit more sharp. So I am just going to continue taking her off the loom and when you get to the neck you're going to want to stop because the neck is what is holding everything together. So once you get to here you want to take your spare hook, go in through all these bands and take it off because you are going to, this is her body. So now, let's begin to work on her head. Okay, so for Hazel's head, let's please put your loom into the staggered position. So you're going to be taking two brown bands for her head and place them from here to here. Then you're going to take two more brown bands and place them from here to here. And then once again, two more brown bands from here to here. And then you are going to take two skin tone bands actually just get a few skin tone bands and you are going to actually no i messed up i'm very sorry i'm going to take two more brown bands and place them from here to here and now i'm going to take my skin tone bands and place them from here to here here to here, here to here, here to here, and that from here to here. And now we're going to take the eyes that you made and you're going to place them here to here. And separate them so your whole thing should look like this so now we're gonna put Hazel's body back on the loom so I think I like this side better but you can use whichever side that you would like and we're gonna take her body and we are going to place it here so now we are going to start looping. So the two bands on the top are going to be the ones that come forwards. Now I grabbed one band and I'm going to go back in and grab the other one. So basically your hook will just tell you which way that it wants to go. So now we can reach in again and grab those. So now we're just going to keep looping up and I'm 
going to fix this. And you want to make sure that you loop up this middle one before you do the hair. Just so she won't have a bald spot in the middle of her forehead. So now we're going to go in. And we're going to go in again. And now we're going to reach our hook in through all these bands. And grab the top two. So now we can take Hazel off our loom. And I'm going to show you how to make her canola. Also, we're going to make a slip knot. So... I like to just reach my hook in, go like this, widen out the eyes if they have to be widened out, and now to make a slip knot, we're going to pull this end over this end and pull. And you can always tuck that in later. And I'm sorry if you didn't see that, I really don't. But once again, if you are stuck on anything, I think that I explained it better in my Trist video. So, like that. So now, we are going to make Hazel's canola. And the way I originally did this was with a piece of floss. So this might take me a second. But you are going to take, let me see, what, see here, this is kind of, this is what you didn't see in the Instagram photo. The mess on the back. So, you are going to take your floss. And I'm going to actually... It's going to go... It's going to go right underneath her eyes. So let me figure out how to do this and I'll be right back. Okay, so what we're going to do... Is see where her cheek band is. We're going to lift that up and we're going to put one side of our floss through there. So like this. And then we're going to lift up the other side and we're going to put it through there. And this is all just going to involve like playing around with it until it looks nice. Because that's what I used to do the first time. So I'm going to lift this up, and on this one, the eyes are not, I'm going to have to fiddle around with it. But see, this is the basic idea of it. We can compare the two, and we're going to have to tie this off. And once you tie it off, then it'll look like this. So we're going to tie this off. And you can place this anywhere you'd like. Alright. So I've tied this off. And this is what she looks like. And you can cut the excess floss off of this. So basically, once you play around with her, she should look fine. So this is the Hazel tutorial. And I really hope you like it. And if you like it, or if you'd like to see more of my creations, please subscribe, and please check me out on Instagram, at booklooms, and also at booklooms underscore. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you like the Fault in Our Stars movie, and I hope you like the book as much as I do.